Translating English into Math An important skill in algebra is being able to translate English into algebraic expressions and equations. Algebra is a more efficient and compact language than the written languages. Yes, it lacks the richness of the descriptors of modern languages, but is powerful in being able to use in computers, calculators, and in being able to be represented in charts and graphs. This is a picture of one of my favorite YouTube teachers, Wayne, a.k.a. Minkus BC. That's M-I-N-K-U-S-B-C. This is his YouTube video introduction to solving word problems. I agree with him that what are called word problems in reality are really translation problems. In order to translate, it helps to have a dictionary. Here's a one-page dictionary I've placed together. I've used Wayne's as a format for mine. You might want to make a copy of this. You can make a copy by pressing the print screen key on your keyboard. It might be at the top of your keyboard next to the F12 key, and then pasting it to a PowerPoint slide or another application, then printing it. You could also stop the video here and copy it all down. Mostly you'll be able to translate English directly into symbols pretty much as you read along, but there are some exceptions. Less than. If you read the English phrase 10 less than a number, you may be tempted to write 10 minus n. In algebra, when you see this, you must place the variable n first, followed by minus 10 for an answer of n minus 10. Subtracted from. If you read 5 subtracted from a number, that would translate to x minus 5. When you see the phrase product of 6 and a number, the first thing to do is write down a multiplication sign, such as a dot, then place the 6 to the left of that dot and n to the right of it. It's the same for the phrases quotient of, difference of, and sum of. You just need to start out with a division sign, a subtraction sign, or a, a plus sign, respectively. Let's go over some examples. 9 less than 12. Translated into algebra, it's written 12 minus 9. Do you see how the less than is a switch phrase? You need to switch the order of English to be able to properly translate into algebra. 4 subtracted from 3 times y. And here it is translated into algebra, 3y minus 4. When it says subtracted from, we need to place the 3y first, then the minus 4, since 4 is subtracted from 3 times y. 1 half a number times 15. And here's the translated version, the 1 half in front, then the n, then parentheses 15. All those numbers and symbol next to each other mean that they are multiplied by each other, the 1 half, the n, and the 15. Let's look at some examples. 10 times the sum of twice a number and 6. This translates to 10 next to the quantity 2n plus 6, which are inside parentheses. Note that when you see the word sum of, what comes after that needs to go inside parentheses. 18 times the difference of a number and 10. This translates to 18 times the quantity n minus 10. Note that immediately after the words difference of, what is next, the n minus 10, goes inside parentheses. 8 times the quantity y plus 2 divided by 4. This translates into 8 times the y plus 2 inside parentheses, and then 4 at the bottom of the division bar. Here are some more examples. A number increased by 6. This translates to n plus 6. Going back to our dictionary, increased by means plus twice a number decreased by 6. This translates to 2n minus 6. 4 less than 5 times a number. This translates to 5n minus 4. The sum of 3 times a number and 12. This translates to 3n plus 12. Do you remember how earlier I said that what comes after the words sum of goes inside parentheses? Well that really doesn't apply here since we are not dividing or multiplying that sum by any number. I will conclude this lesson by introducing another tricky phrase or turn of words used seldom in word problems, but whenever used can be very tricky. John has twice as many quarters as dimes. The inclination for me is to associate the number 2 for twice with the variable q for quarters. This would give us the equation 2q equals d. But we really need to think about this. What does twice as many quarters mean? It means that the number of quarters is equal to twice or two times the number of dimes. 
So the 2 goes in front of the D and not the Q, and so the real equation for this sentence is Q equals 2D. This has been Translated English to Math. Thanks for viewing.